Michael, what I'd like to talk about now is what they call the social history part of the exam. And this is where I, as the um, practitioner, get to know a little bit more about you as a person. Okay. Some of the things I'm going to ask you are a little bit personal. And I'll tell you when we get to that part of the exam. But you always have the permission to refuse to answer me if you'd like. If, okay. if for some reason you're uncomfortable as answering something, please just let me know. Okay. And as you need to know also, what I am going to ask you is confidential, okay. the information that you give me. But what i like to kind of start out with is, tell me where you were born and raised. Um, I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. And how long have you, did you live there? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. I'm sorry, please tell me how long you lived there. I lived in Chicago, Illinois up until my, I was 30 years old. Oh, okay. I'm 42 okay. now. So. Okay, you're 42? Mm hmm And what made you move to Madison? Um, the rest of my family decided to relocate here and I decided to just come to with To come with them. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Um, so in your living situation that you're currently involved in, who lives with you? I live alone, actually. You live alone, mm -hmm. okay. And do you have family and friends here in, in the Madison area yes, or the surrounding I area? I live right across the street from my mom. Oh, okay. All right. So is your mom uh, a relationship that you could depend on in case you were sick or you needed help or if you broke your leg and somebody had to come help you? Do you have family in town or friends that could help you with that? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Um, what I'd like to know a little bit about is what a typical day is like for you. Um, typical day? Well, I work a lot. And what so, kind of, and you told me you... A residential housing manager. And how many hours a week do you perform that task? 45 hours a week. Oh, you work a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about that? A typical day, well, I'm up at 6 a.m. Uh -huh. And what I do is prepare myself for work. Um, I try to eat a healthy breakfast and I go to work, I'm at work at 8. Mm -hmm. And usually I work until 5, 5.30, somewhere up in there. All right. When you are not working, how do you spend your time? <laughs> Sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Getting ready to go to work. Getting ready to go to work. All yeah. right. What do you do for leisure or for fun? Um, I like to go to plays and to see movies and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Sometimes I'll ride my bike, you know. Okay. Are, is there, I always like to ask patients, is there um, a spiritual community that you're part of here? Or does, or does, are there spiritual beliefs or culture beliefs that impact how, you know, your health care is delivered that you would want me to know about? No. No, it isn't. Okay. I'd like to talk with you a little bit about your diet. Now, you talked about it before that you try to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you usually eat for meals and for snacks in a typical day? Um... Well, my breakfast is usually like eggs, bacon, toast. Mm -hmm. um, lunch, I have like a sandwich and chips or something like that. Okay. And meat and potatoes for dinner. Are there any groups of food that you either eat too much of or that you stay away from? I don't eat, eat a lot of vegetables. Okay. All right. Caffeine. Tell me about your caffeine use. I drink tea at least once or twice a day. Okay. Coffee, Caffeinated colas? Tea. I don't drink um, coffee. I do drink soda maybe once a day. Okay. And regular exercise. Tell me about that. Um, I haven't exercised in quite some time. Okay. I'd like to hear a little bit about your sleep. You mentioned before that when you're not working, you're sleeping. Um, with your job, do you tend to have your sleeping at the nighttime hours or during the day, or when do you sleep? I sleep nights. You sleep nights. Mm -hmm. And how many hours of sleep a night do you get? I get seven, seven and a half hours of sleep. Is it restful sleep? Not really. It's very interrupted for some reason. And how is it interrupted? It. I wind up waking up at one or two. I sleep in like two hour intervals. I see. Are you tired when you wake up in the morning? Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Do you nap during the day at all? Uh, I take a short cat nap, like half hour. And does that make you feel more refreshed? And, it and, does, to um, be able to, conti to okay. continue my day. Yeah. All right. Um, Michael, do you participate, or I guess if you participate in sports such as skiing, snowboarding, um, bicycle riding, skateboarding, do you wear a helmet? You said you ride your bike. Yeah, and I don't wear a helmet. Okay. All right. Do you, when you drive your car, do you wear seatbelts? Yes, I do. And when you ride also in your car, you wear yes, seatbelts all the time? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'd like you to give a, a little bit of thought to either your living situations or your working situations. What I'm trying to ask you right now is any exposure to things like smoke, uh, fumes, chemicals, radiation, loud noise? No. No? no. Okay. All right. The next set of questions that I need to ask you are some of the more personal ones that I told you I was going to be getting to, and, and we're at that part of the interview now. And again, I'm asking your permission to talk with you about them, and please don't answer anything that you feel uncomfortable with. Okay. Um, tattoos or piercings? Uh, I have my ears pierced. Okay. And may I ask where, you, where oh, let me rephrase it, did you get those pierced in the United States? Yes, I did. Okay. And how long ago? Uh, I have to be like 17, 18 okay. years ago. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, tell me about your tobacco use. Um, I quit smoking about two years ago. Congratulations. Thank That's you. quite a battle. That's quite a battle. Let, I'd like to hear a little bit more about when you did smoke. I started smoking at the age of 17. Uh -huh. um, my smoking from 17 to like 23, I smoked maybe a half a pack a day. Uh -huh. And by the time I was 23, I think I started smoking like a pack a day. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I smoked for well over 24, 25 years. Okay. And you have quit now for two years? Yes, sir. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Any chewing of tobacco, any cigars, any pipes? No. Okay. All right. Tell me about your alcohol use. Um, I quit drinking five years ago. Okay. And when you say you quit drinking, you no longer drink any alcohol at all? No, I don't. Of any type? No. Okay. What made you decide to quit? It became a problem. It became a problem. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, I started drinking at the age of 17, and my drinking had gotten me into so much trouble by the time I turned 40, you know. And can you describe a little bit about the type of trouble you're talking about? Um, legal trouble, financial trouble. Okay. Really disrupted your life. Yes, it did. Okay. And this, when you quit five years ago, was that the first time you had attempted to quit? That was the first time I okay. attempted to quit. And you quit successfully since then? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, any recreational drug use? No. No. Okay. Not now, not ever? No. Okay. I want to talk with you a little bit about your sexual health. Okay. Um, any sexual health concerns that you have? No. No. Uh, are you sexually active? No, I'm not. No. When was the last time you were? Five years ago. Okay. And when you were sexually active, were your partners men, women, or both? Men. Men. Mm. What did you do, um, and what at what age did you become sexually active? I became sexually active at 18. Okay. When you were sexually active, how did you protect yourself against STIs? STIs. Or pregnancies? Condoms. Condoms. All the time? Some of the time? Most of the time. Most of the time. Mm. Any concerns about hepatitis or HIV exposure? No. No? Okay. Um, any concerns about your sexual health now at all? No. No. All right. I want to uh, ask you about economic uh, factors in your life. Okay. Any concerns about your health insurance? Or, and mostly what I'm asking about here is your economics as it affects your health care. Okay. Okay. Any concerns about your insurance or uh, how this visit is covered today or how your health care is paid for? Actually, i got pretty good health care. Okay. Any economic factors mm -hmm. in your life that cause a lot of stress for you or, or that you're worried about? No. No. Okay. Any other areas in your life in terms of stress that you're worried about? No. Okay. The last question that I want to ask you about is something that I ask all patients because I think it's so prevalent in our society, and that's about violence. Are there any areas in your life where you feel harmed or disrespected or at risk, either for your physical health, your emotional health? No. No? Okay. Do you have weapons in your house? No, I don't. Okay. Is there anything else about you socially as a patient, as a person, that you want me to know? No, I think you pretty much covered everything. All right. Thank you for answering the questions. I'll take this information back to Dr. Smith. And thank you. All righty.